Hi friends, welcome to chapter 26 tutorial on Microsoft Excel Visual Basic for Applications. In this chapter, I am going to show you how to source data in the list box using a text box. As you can see in the screen, when I put some value in the text box, then click on the show button, the matching records with the source criteria are displayed in the list box. So in this video, we are going to learn how to do this. Let's get started. Click on the developer tab, visual basic. First of all, we have to create here a source text box and the show button. For that, let me increase the size of the user form. Then put these buttons little downward. Now click on this frame, then increase the size of the frame till here. Now drag this list box little downward. And here in this area, create a source text box and a show button for that let me go to the toolbox click on the text box option then draw a text box here like this beside the text box put here a button by clicking on the command button then draw a command button here this way and left to the text box create here a label so go here in the label option and draw the label here and in the label name put here sorts click on the label right click go to properties then increase the font size by going here in the font option then take here a larger font let's say 11 then click on ok and here in the command button change the name by going to the caption and put here so then go to the font option and increase the font to 10 then click on ok also increase the font size here in the source text box by going here in this font option then make it 10 ok and change the name of the text box as tb underscore source Close the properties window. Then to write the code for the show button, double click on this show button which will open this sub procedure for command button one underscore click. If you want, you can also change the name of the button as well. So go to the user form, then click on the show button, right click properties, then change the name as btn underscore so now double click on it to go to the coding here you see button underscore so underscore click sub procedure is created now write here the vva code to display the values in the list box that matches with the source criteria first of all define the required variable names that are dim sh is oxit dim lr is long dim source value is string dim i is long now set up the value for each variables set sh equal to this or kvuk dot seats database lr equal to application dot oxid function here this oxid function is not suggested because here i have missed one space for this lr so let me put here a space now when i put here application dot then i'll see this oxid function option double click on this oxid function dot count a open bracket then in the argument of the count a function put here sh dot range open bracket double quotation column a to column a double quotation close bracket close bracket then press enter now set up the value for the search value variable so put here search value equal to me dot text box search dot value sometimes mistakenly if you put a space before the word in the search bar then the result may be incorrect so to overcome that here you can combine a function that is the trim function so use here trim function trim open bracket click at the end and close the bracket 
Now if the search box hides some unwanted space, then the unwanted space will be removed by this trim function. Now set up the properties for the list box. First of all, clear the previous data of the list box by using this code me dot list box one dot row source equal to blank. The next property is me dot list box one dot column count equal to five. Next property is the column width. So put here me dot list box one dot column width equal to double quotation 60 semicolon 80 semicolon 80 semicolon 60 semicolon 120 double quotation then press enter next is set the column heads property of the list box is false so put here me dot list box list box one dot column heads equal to false below this set up the column headers for the list box that is me dot list box one dot add item space then put here double quotation date double quotation this is the first column header for the list box for the second column header of the list box write this code me dot list box one dot list bracket open zero comma one bracket close equal to then put the column header that is double quotation income slash expenses double quotation press enter now copy this code then paste it here change this one to two for the third column header and the third column header is category so put here category create here another copy change this one to three for the fourth column header and change the column header value to amount finally paste here one more code then make this one to four and the column header is remarks press enter now we have to set up a validation for the empty source bar so the validation is if search value equal to blank then press enter press the tab key then here we have to call the display data procedure because if the source text box is empty then we have to populate the entire data of the database in the list box that is why we have to call this display data sub procedure and after populating the entire data in the list box we have to exit this sub procedure so put here exit sub press enter press the backspace key then end this if statement by putting end if then press enter now when the user puts some value in the source text box then we have to display the matching results only in the list box for that here we have to use the for loop so put here for i equals to 2 to last row and we have to apply the source from the second row that is why this 2 to last row is given press enter press the tab key now use here a if statement so put here if then use the in str function in str open bracket in the start parameter put one comma in this string one put the second cell of the first column that is given by sh dot range column a and then put the i variable bracket close dot value then put a comma in the string two parameter put the value that is in the source text box which is source value put a comma and in the method of source take this bb text compare method close bracket then put here is greater than zero space then put here or space underscore then press enter this code will check for whether the value in the source text box is matching with the second cell of first column 
and this for loop will repeat the action till the last row of the first column now for the other columns we can simply copy this part of the code so select this code from the in string function select and copy then below this paste the code here you have to press the tab key then paste it Control v now press enter make a third copy press enter fourth copy and finally fifth copy then change the column reference to column b column c column d and column e now remove this or underscore part of the last code then put here then because we have used here the if statement so we have to put here then then press enter now to fill the matching records only in the list box we have to write this code me dot list box one dot add item space sh dot range column a and i dot value press enter me dot list box one dot list open bracket me dot list box one dot list count space dash space then put here one comma one bracket close equal to sh dot range b and i dot value now for the remaining columns you can simply copy this part of the code control c then make here three more copies then change this column reference to column c for this make it column d and column e similarly you have to change these numbers here so make this two three and oh now press enter press the backspace key then end the if statement by putting end if press enter then put here next i for this for loop now to display a message box when the value in the search text box doesn't match with any record then we have to write this code if me dot list box one dot list count equal to one then press enter press the tab key then we have to clear the list box so right here me dot list box one dot clear press enter then display the message box so put here msg vox space double quotation no record has been found then put double quotation put a comma then choose here bb information message box type then press enter press the backspace key then put here end if the coding part is complete let's test this code by hitting on that run button the user form opens let me put here a source criteria for example health now if i click on the show button no record has been found because i have done spelling mistake here in the health let me correct this now click on the show button and here you see the records that matches with the health category are displayed if i change this to household click on show button here you see the record matching with the household are given to show all the records simply clear the value in the search box then click on the show button so this is how we can display the matching records in the text box by using the source bar in the next chapter we will learn exporting the data that is shown in the list box to a new excel workbook if you want to practice this you can download the sample workbook file from the video description below thank you so much for watching this video see you in next chapter